Hi everybody, my name is Kyle Banton Jones and I'm the Behavioral Husbandry Supervisor here at the Toronto Zoo. Uh, you've probably heard that there is a special event happening on April 8th and that's the solar eclipse. Uh, today we're going to be talking a little bit about what a solar eclipse is and uh, why it's so important and in order to do that uh, we're going to throw it over to our friends at the Ontario Science Centre. Thanks Kyle, I'm Dahlia, an astronomer at the Ontario Science Centre. As you mentioned, on April 8th, a total solar eclipse will cross North America as the moon aligns perfectly between the Earth and the sun and casts a shadow on our planet, creating a path of totality. Toronto will experience a partial solar eclipse where 99% of the sun will be covered by the moon. The last total solar eclipse in Ontario was in 1979, and the next one will not occur until 2099. In Toronto, the peak of the solar eclipse will happen at 3.19 p.m. and will bring people together to watch, witness, and reflect on our place in the cosmos. Because solar eclipses are so rare, we still don't fully understand its effect on animal behavior. That's why the Toronto Zoo is asking the community for help. Back to you, Kyle. In order to maximize sort of how we're going to be observing our animals, we have a really exciting citizen science project uh, here at the zoo. Uh, the day before the eclipse, uh, April 7th, the day of the eclipse, April 8th, and the day after, April 9th, uh, we're inviting uh, guests and members uh, to come to the zoo and do uh, behavioral observations on our uh, animals uh, that we uh, think might be affected uh, by the eclipse and uh, to sort of help us out uh, to learn a little bit more about them. Eclipse uh, is a very rare event. It doesn't happen very often. And because of that, uh, there's a lot of questions about how our animals are going to react to this event. Behavioral science and uh, data collection around behavioral science is really, really important uh, to your Toronto Zoo's animal welfare team as it allows us to uh, document and learn more and more about our animals. Our animals are very, very complex and have a very large uh, sort of behavioral repertoire. Uh, and uh, documentation really helps us make decisions uh, and make uh, decisions that are going to impact their welfare positively. And uh, it helps us take better care of them. If you come to the zoo on April 8th, we are going to be handing out special solar eclipse glasses that will allow you to view this solar eclipse while quantities last. Uh, and that'll help you uh, not only see this amazing event, but also uh, do some animal observations uh, while you're here.